Yo, Elliot, for the past year, I've made some great progress, not just during your program, but also the time before. Some things that I have improved on, I doubled my savings, became an all-around better athlete, learned to better endure suffering, became better at resisting temptation, more masculine appearance, trusting in my abilities. Despite all this, I still feel very much incomplete. This is mainly because I have no woman in my life. I'm only 20 years old, so that might sound silly, but I can't seem to get rid of this thought that as long as I do not have a woman in my life, all the things I mentioned above do not really matter that much. Also, this thought seems to demotivate me more than I'm comfortable with. Do you have any thoughts on this? P.S. I'm not actively looking for a woman because I do not think it's a good idea to put my focus on that yet. What a hard place to be in. And I empathize, man. I totally empathize with all of you who are in a similar situation to Rob right now, where you're young, right? You're 20. Let me say something about 20 years old, right? Something, and I was thinking about this in regard to myself recently. Um, 20 year old men are of low sexual market value, meaning that the, just the way things are today, women don't want you. Women of 20, 22, you know, young women that are around your age that should be interested in guys their age, they're not. And I say should, but it's not even a should. It makes sense. They're interested usually in older men, right? Maybe guys that are 27, guys that got a little bit more resources than you. Um, also, at 20 years old, it's, it's a strange thing, but you're still like a boy. You're still a teenager at 20, right? Um, you don't really become a, a like a, a early adult, like a young adult until after 24. That's my, that's my opinion that once you hit 24, now you're a young adult when you're 20, 21, 22, 23, you're still in that teenage phase because I believe that life works in 12 year cycles, right? Everything happens in 12 cycles, right? Why wouldn't our life work in 12 cycles, right? 12 months, whatever. But we have 12-year cycles. And you could just see from birth to age 12, there's a, there's a huge evolution. From age 12 to 24, there's a huge evolution. At age 24 is usually when I get mo most of my students and the men that follow my videos are age 24. Because at 24, there is a darkening of the mind. Because you, you, that's when you realize, oh, I'm no longer a teenager. I'm no longer a boy anymore. And this doesn't even happen consciously. It's something that just, it, it just happens. And now you're moving into the phase from 24 to 36. That's when you're really expected to become a man. And I only say this to you because I want to give you hope that you're still I'm not denigrating your place. I'm trying to give you hope and I want to show you the way out of this. But I have to acknowledge that you're still a child. It doesn't feel that way because you have testosterone and you have sexual needs and you are are seen and treated like an adult, right? At least at 21, you're still 20, you're not even 21, in society. But you're still a child, and I know that doesn't sound good, I, and, and I don't want you to, just, to accept that, but I have to say it because it's the truth, right? Because if somebody would've told me that when I was 20 years old, I'd be like, man, you don't know what you're talking about, right? Because you're not in my shoes. But I've been in your shoes, and the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying is because I was thinking the other day about 20-year-old E. And how tough life was at 20-year-old E. You know what? One of the things I was thinking about about 20-year-old Elliot is that women did not pay attention to me at 20 years old. Right? Women didn't start paying attention to me until I was mid-30s. All of a sudden, I'm mid-30s. And by then, I was married. So actually, what I was thinking about was how my life turned out the way it was the way it did by me getting married so early. And a part of the reason why I married my high school girlfriend, right? I was dating her, and you were in different situations, of course, you know, I had a woman, you had no woman, but I just, these are insights that I have. Even at 20 years old, you know, I felt, even though I had a girlfriend, I felt like, where are all the girls that, are, that, that, are, that should be paying attention to me? And there was none of them. That's why, I, part of the reason why I stayed with my girlfriend, just being completely honest here, right? I ended up marrying her, and now we have four children. But when I was 20 years old, other girls weren't paying attention to me. And I thought I was something special. I thought I was a good looking guy, right? I thought I had my shit together. I was going to college, I was playing football, right? But the girls weren't knocking my door down. I had friends that the girls were knocking their doors down. And I couldn't figure out why. I don't know what it was, right? Maybe I don't know what it was. But with that, if I had the understanding when I was 20 
that in 10 years, the girls are going to be knocking down your door, bro. They're going to be knocking your door down, bro. Just give it 10 years. 10 years sound like a long time, right? Between 20 and 30, it sounds like a long time. But if you take those 10 years, right, and you just discipline yourself, discipline yourself to keep doing the things that you're doing. You're saving, you're becoming an athlete, you're enduring suffering, you're, you're becoming more masculine, right? You're growing up. Stay on that path, stay on that trend, Stay on that building yourself up because at that point when you turn 30, that's when, this is going to be a funny thing. Check this out because the roles reverse. All the 20-year-old girls that aren't paying attention to you now, when they turn 30 and you turn 30, their sexual market value starts going down because women, they, they age like milk, right? After age 25, if I was you guys, right? I wouldn't deal with any woman under your age 25. I'm 40. If something happened and I have to be out there again, I don't think I ever would. I think I'm done with women. If my wife dies or whatever, I don't think I'd mess with women. But if I did and I was just thinking this myself, I wouldn't mess with anybody, any girl under 25. They would call me all kinds of names, but I'm like, I ain't messing with anything that's, that's younger than 25. So by the time you turn 30, these women that were ignoring you, they're going to start paying attention to you because they already rode the cock carousel. They already had their fun time, their party girl years, right? And you're just achieving your peak. And so they're going to be looking at, oh, this is a good man. They didn't pay attention to you when you were in your 20s. But when you're 30s, they're looking at you like, oh, this is a good man to settle down with, right? They're looking for a provider at that time because women need a provider at that point. They realize I'm, my eggs are getting rotten and old and I'm going to die alone. Well, guess what you're going to do when you're 30? You're going to date a 25-year-old girl, maybe a 20-year-old girl, right? As long as she's legal, right? Because you, at that point, you have all the options. You have your shit together. You're on, your, on the mountain that you've built for the past 10 years. And you're going to have your pick of the litter. You're going to be able to do whatever you want. So I don't know how else to put this, right? I put up a meme today. I got to read this meme too because I'm thinking about this. I put it on Instagram. Go on my Instagram. Uh, my story. I'm going to find it right now. I'm going to read it. Because this guy, I reposted this guy's quote. And I was like, man, he, he's spot on. Uh, my Wi-Fi is not great. Here it is. Matt Budro is the name of the guy. I just follow him on Instagram. He said, a message to young men. Take on massive responsibility as early as humanly possible. The compound interest effect of beginning hard work at an early age is more powerful than you can imagine. And he's right. Use this time to be a warrior. This is your warrior stage. Be a warrior. Forget about the lover stage right now. The lover stuff will come after you've conquered your career, your education. You got your life together. It's the toughest thing, right? Because at this age, that's when I understand that you want a girl. I mean, I, if I didn't have a girl, I would want a girl too. I understand what you're going through. But the best thing you can do is be the kind of man that will attract a woman when the time is right. Right? I don't think it's in your best interest. And I, obviously, you don't think it's in your best interest to go out there seeking and trying to find a woman. Because you will probably find some women that you can have sex with. There's no question about that. No question about that. You'll be able to find some women, go on your Tinder app or whatever you do in order to find these women that you can have sex with. But if you're, if you're, and dare I say, real man, right? Like I, I kind of term that I don't like because the feminists use it in a way to make us feel like we're supposed to follow their rules for what a real man is. But to me, a real man is a man that takes on responsibility. A, a real man is a man that wants to build a kingdom. And there is no kingdom without a queen because without a queen, there's no children. So you want to be a father. That's my opinion. Right? A real man wants to be a father. right? You want to be a progenitor. You want to be generative. Create generations. right? That's what you want to do as a man. Uh, most of these chicks out there at this particular time are probably not going to be worthy of that. Are there places that you might go where you could find that? I'm sure there are. They're probably in Christian conservative communities. Right? Go to Christian cons conservative Christian communities and you might find young women that want to get married early. Because I think getting married early is a good idea, but just in this time, this day and age, and the climate that you guys find yourself in, most of these women are not worth marrying. 
And when they are finally ready to, to, to be a woman, to be a wife, uh, they've already been run through. They've already been riding that cat carousel, right? This is why a woman needs to preserve her value. During this, during between ages of 20 and 30, there's, there's a flip-flop for men and women. The best thing a woman could do is to preserve her value. She, a woman preserves her value because a woman is born with value. Right? Because she's a woman, she has value. It's her beauty. It's the beauty of a woman that's her value. She didn't do nothing for it. She just came out with it. Right? Even some of the homeliest looking women still have value because some man will have sex with that. Right? If a, if, if a homely looking woman, right? I'm, when I say homely, I don't mean like ugly. I mean like, you know, maybe like a five. Comes out, she's like, who wants to have sex with me? Most men would, oh, okay. Right? Because it's very easy for them because they're a woman. Their job really is to preserve their value by what? Not being a slut, right? Keep your legs closed. Don't be so easy. Don't be giving your stuff away, right? Because for every woman that, every notch that she has, her value is lower. And I know people don't like to hear this, especially women don't like to hear this, but it's the fact. Would you take a woman that has 100 dicks on her belt or has two? Uh, uh, uh. You're going to be competing for the sexual imagery, the imagination, the remembrance of a hundred dicks that run through that chick. Her value's lost. She will always be tainted by all those experiences. Her value's lost. So a woman has to keep maintain her value until she's married. Then she's, a, she's truly of value. A man has to build his value. You see how that works? You spend your, and it's hard work for both if we're doing the right thing. It's hard work for a woman to maintain her value. I don't say maintain her value like be stingy, like, uh, you know, these women who have these high standards so they won't talk to anybody, right? That's a little, that's, that's perverted too. But be discerning as a woman, preserve, preserve your value. As a man, build your value. You gotta build your value. You gotta build your value. That's what your, that's what your job is right now. Your job right now is to build your value. So keep doing what you're doing. Um, I know it's tough, but erase the memory of women from your mind the best that you can. Don't go on Instagram and following these pages with these girls. Don't go on TikTok looking at them shake their booties. It's the ridic most ridiculous thing. I, I got back on TikTok because I was trying to immer you know, make some more videos, and they kicked me off again. Uh, but as soon as I go in there, I'm like, all I see is twerking. All I see is twerking. Or they got this one where, like, they cover themselves up and then they let their boobies drop. I mean, the whole thing is just, it's like soft porn. And if you go on there, you're going to be hypnotized. And you think, oh, I need that. Oh, I have to have that. Oh, I want that. Oh, life is worth nothing without that. In a way, you're right. Because like I said earlier, that men build civilizations. Why? Why do men fight? Why do men battle? Why do men build? women because we love women we do everything that we do because we want women in our lives you just gotta be patient you just gotta be patient you're doing the right thing you're on the right path just be patient don't be needy and be ready when that when that right woman shows up and you know I, I've done a few videos I should probably do more videos and I'm you know I don't want to I want to wrap this rant up but have high standards for yourself have high standards for yourself. Do not settle for these bad attitude women because they're pretty. Do not, you know, pretty pretty face and a bad attitude is the wrong way to go, man. Look for a woman who is humble, right? Who has humility, who respects you. It's hard to find a woman that's going to respect you these days if she makes more money than you, if she's older than you, if she is higher on the uh, SMV chart than you, right? Like, let's say she's a nine and you're an eight. Right? She's not going to have respect for you. She's going to think she could do better than you. You have to find a woman, and I'm going to wrap this up here now, but you got to find a woman that looks up to you. That's the way it has to work because respect flows up, love goes down. You look down on your woman. Why? Not out of lack of uh, anything. It's because love flows down. You love down. We don't love up. We respect up. 
I respect my father more than I love him because he's above me. You respect God the Father because he loves us. With a woman, you find a woman that loves you, but the, the concomitant, when it's rightly ordered, is respect. Find a woman that respects you. You love down to her. That means if you're a 10, she needs to be a 9. If you're a 5, she needs to be a 4. Right? If you make $100,000, she makes $50,000. If you're 30 years old, she needs to be 25 years old. Down. Women date up, men date down. Men marry down. Why? Once again, because that's the way love flows. Love flows down. Love is gravity. Have you ever heard that? Love is gravity. It's, it's heavy. It moves down. So... That's what you need to do when you're looking. Okay, I'm done. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.